I've been okay. It yes. is interesting that you're saying I look amazing. Well, thank you. Yes. But usually Monday, ha, Monday, I'm in my own world. Yes. It is the time when I get to relax, chill, and just be home. Yes. You know, from a long weekend, marathon of reading news. Monday is just my for my personal time. And I always tell my friends, on Monday, if it is not paper deal, yes. money deal, don't you call. <laughs> But, you know, you have to make sacrifices because you never know what you're doing to someone. You're impacting uh, someone to someone's life. Yeah. So you just spare a minute or two for s if someone needs you, you're there. Like how I am already here. Well, thank you so much. I know you've been telling me, Melads, I'm still doing this. I'm still up and down. But please, I want to give you ample time. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I please. know. So thank you so much. That is me on a Monday. Yes. I will drag. I will just toss you here and there. But at the end of the day, if I make it, yeah. we thank God. Thank you. Well, um, somebody's watching you for the very first time, Mildred, or maybe they have been watching you on TV, but they don't know who you are. How can you introduce yourself to them? Well, my name is Mildred Pedun. Those are the names I use on set. Yes. Uh, but I have three names. Mildred Cochita Pedun. I am a news anchor at NTV, particularly doing the weekend edition. That means I get to be on your screens from Friday to Sunday. But then also I do report, I go to the field and cover some stories. That is for Wednesday and Thursday. So for Monday, Tuesday, that is my personal time. And then I was born and raised in Kampala, studied in Kampala. I am from Soroti. Before we get to talk about your media journey, um, what were you up to before you joined media? Before I joined media, I had a lot of things that I was doing, yeah. but uh, still my eye was for the media. Uh, I am a go-getter. I am a kind of person that likes to try out things here and there. So before I actually joined the media, I first of all did, in school, I did international business. And uh, at that point, I did it, yes, at that time, but didn't sit well with me. And before I knew it, I was already getting into the media. But also, uh, while I was at school pursuing journalism, I realized... I just Wait, you did a business course and later you changed your mind to journalism? No, I did a business course, completed it, oh, okay. then immediately enrolled for journalism okay. because that is where I felt I connected. That is where I felt I needed to be. Why? I'm outspoken and uh, I love talking to people. And I also like to interact with uh, different people to just get to know their minds on different things. Yeah. And uh, basically, and also I like to use like a big platform to impact on people. And thank God, here I am on NTV yeah. and uh, doing that. For example, when I was in at campus, well, it's, it's hard to believe, but yeah, I did it. Uh, I used to make juice uh, because at campus I was commuting. My parents were not those kinds of people of hostel here and there. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, so I was commuting and uh, I would carry my jerry kind of juice to school sell it there, pocket my money in the evening and go back home. How much was it? At the time, I was, uh, we used to sell a glass at 1,000 and I think I made juice and uh, I used to take a 5 litre jerry can. So at the what? end of the day, I would pocket 15,000. Another thing that I have about me is uh, I, I like to make friends a lot. So I befriended one of the people at the canteen, school canteen and uh, yeah, talked to them about my idea and thank God they were welcoming. So I would make the juice from home carry it and take it straight to the canteen it's not like i would be on campus selling yeah, juice that's, no that's what I no 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 no. that's not what i do i just partnered with the canteen and actually would give them some money off what i would make and yeah so why i did this was uh right from you know the, my, my parents introduced me to work while i was in my senior four so my head was that enterprising i i i, I started loving to make money at a very you know young age and uh i've always not wanted to depend on someone like you know our parents did that we appreciate but they showed us that at some point in your life you're going to have to actually make this money by yourself so uh, my head was always you know all over the place i did juice then before i would even you know grow my juice i'm already thinking about ideas like makeup so I started doing makeup. Uh, still at campus? Still at campus, within campus. So I do juice and then started teaching myself how to make up. And uh, I used to watch a few videos here on YouTube and stuff. And I started teaching myself. And the more I got perfect, the more I actually started getting gigs. This is still studying. So I would have like Monday to Friday in school. Then Saturdays, I would, you know, move out, make up brides, people who have birthday parties. I was hired. If I set my heart, first of all, an attitude on something, I am going to get it, my lads. I am going to do it. Anything. 
be it anything if i set my attitude i'm like i need to go to that place i will i need to get that thing done i will so that is just who i have been from day one and i think it also comes with grooming and nurturing and growing my mom always pushed us to do above and beyond and thank god look where it has got me yeah so as people out there don't don't minimize jobs just know there is always a starting point now like i said i'm a go-getter I, I when i want something i'll go for it so while i was still doing uh, juice and uh, makeup I was still doing journalism in school that was campus so friends like i said i like making friends so i had made friends in uh, upper semesters so a friend one of uh, a friend of mine that i had befriended was working at top media that is top tv top radio kampala fm at the time so she 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 tells me how it was she joined there and she told me how it was and stuff like that so one time I, I i encounter her at campus and i tell her you know what i am interested in reading news at top tv are you hiring english news anchor remember this is a, a luganda television luganda speaking television and uh, my my strength is in english so i tell her i want to anchor news at, at top television in english she tells me yeah actually they're looking for english news anchors they're going to introduce a bulletin for english so i was like hey it's a good opportunity she shares with me the manager's number i remember he's called uh, haji lubega akram shout out to you i hope he's watching he's a very amazing uh, mentor everything everything good so i reach out to him and uh, he tells me come come give it a try i was at campus you know how campus we are not even into the news we don't watch these things by the way like young people but uh, I mean these things have to change times have to change you have to be interested in the field that you're in uh, you have to give it all, your all so I go to Mr. Akram Lubega I tell him my interests he's like oh have you done it before I'm like no I'm actually still in school he's like oh that's brave of you so he tasks me go write stories come and read for me that's what I did I read for him and that's I think that no 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 the next day because okay. I came and prepared yeah. I just came to create a rapport after that, he tasked me, he gave me an assignment, go write stories. Uh, go watch news, write a story, come and read it for me. And that's what I did the next day. And uh, I don't know if I impressed him, but all he told me was, well, you can be polished, you need some polishing. So he told me, so you start coming around and see how the activities here are done, and as you also train. And that is how I started, that is how it started. So I would go around, learn different things, camera here and there as I was also undergoing training. But uh, I stayed there for a some time, yeah. and the opportunity for news anchors didn't open immediately. But like I said, uh, Top TV has Top Radio Kampala FM. Now Top Radio is a Luganda speaking radio, Kampala FM is English. So while I was there still, I made friends around, and uh, I made my intentions known to them. So I would also go to the radios and tell them I want to read news in English. And they'll be like, okay, no worries, we shall do, do your demo. So when we need like a sit-in, we shall call you. Yeah. I did all that. So on Kampala FM, actually time came and since I was not doing so much at Top TV, I left. Yes, because uh, it was taking a toll on me and yet there was school, so balancing was a bit hard. So I decided to first put it, put it on pause since I was not... Were, were they giving you something? Money, no. Of course not. You're just training. It is you who needs them. Yeah, so I would use... I understand the life at campus, you know, you're... anyway, you had some businesses. I had some businesses running, but also my parents would come through, so I wasn't really lacking. Yeah, so um, I left and then uh, on Kampala FM during the, 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 the morning show, one of the co-present as a lady uh, was doing exams at the time. So she leaves for a week and uh, the program's director, remember, I created rapport. That was now like months later, like really months later. And I was so humbled that Gideon uh, remembered me. He was the PD of Camp FM at the time. He calls me, he's like, but Mildred, I will need you to sit in for the morning show. Uh, the presenter has gone on a break for just one week. I'm like, yeah, I'm up for it. I wasn't doing anything. I was, uh, aside from my businesses, I would basically be home and of course still continuing with school. So I was up for it. And I go, I start my radio journey sitting in. And uh, I think I, after the one week, I think they were impressed. They told me, Mildred, you're not going anywhere. You're staying and you're going to do the breakfast show. I'm like, wow. I was humbled. And, putting you on payroll? They did. They did immediately. Because, you know, <laughs> Let me tell you something, yeah. uh, all companies, once you are good at your craft, once you're good at what you do, there is no way they're going to let you down. They will put you in immediately. So that is how my journey started. Yeah, It started by 
taking myself there even when I had zero skill or knowledge or what about how these things are done. But because I wanted to learn, the zeal, the urge, the determination, the courage and the confidence at the end of the day is what matters.